this week on the Hooters Tour with Lee Moore and Kim Briel. Coming up this half hour from Decatur, Alabama, 7,100 yards of challenging golf, Spike McCroy is our player profile, and names like Matisse, Wood, Stutz, and Kramer are making the big noise at Point Mallard Park. It's the Decatur Daily Tour Championship. Decatur, Alabama is our setting this week for the Hooters Pro Golf Tour. This thriving city is in the north central part of the state, and in mid-July, there's a real need for plenty of water. Forget for a moment that several big companies like Monsanto, General Electric, and Goodyear have plants here, which means a good economy. It also means people, families, and the attendant needs, such as recreation areas with plenty of water. The Tennessee River offers a boater's paradise, and weekends are filled with good times. And for the kids and the young at heart, there's the world's first wave pool right here at Point Mallard Park, a giant water slide, and over 750 acres of fun things to do. This week, one of the things to do is watch the Hooters Pro Golf Tour right here on the Point Mallard links. 7,100 yards of well-kept fairways and greens, and for the third straight year, it's home to the Decatur Daily Hooters Tour Championship. Hello everybody, I'm Lee Moore. And I'm Kim Briel, and welcome to This Week on the Hooters Tour. Well, I don't know if it's a welcome or not. We've got this Alabama heat, Kim, that is the most intense I think I have ever felt. Very hot indeed, and in fact, a lot of our players felt it this <laughs> week. And we're going to take a look at early week activities, and we're going to meet some interesting people again this week in Alabama. All that and more coming your way next. Hey, want to spice up your wardrobe without spending a fortune? Hooters has just what you're looking for. That's right. Just call 1-800-961-2231 and order some terrific Hooters merchandise. Like shirts, hats, sweats, sunglasses, and more. Hey, are you a race fan? Call 1-800-961-2231 for great Hooters racing apparel. And to really make your life complete, there's the Hooters golf bag, umbrella, flying disc, even a subscription to Hooters magazine. Call 1-800-961-2231 today. If you take fresh eggs, cream, and right off the farm fresh vegetables, add pure vegetable oil, red wine vinegar, natural honey, herbs and spices, and maybe generous amounts of aged blue cheese in just the right portions, blended under refrigeration to the peak of perfection, you'd know why we call our products naturally fresh. We Monday of Tournament Week is the time for local qualifiers to try to add their names to the field for the $100,000 purse. There was a strong turnout here of qualifiers, and the best score of the bunch belonged to Todd Bailey. Todd's 369 set the pace while Jimmy Reist, John Harvilla, and Frank Skykel all posted scores of one under par 71. This is the list of those added to the field, again for the Decatur Daily Tour Championship. Day two and Southern Energy Homes shootout drew a highly qualified field of 10. A good crowd got to watch some fine shot making and it came down to Jack O'Keefe and David McCampbell. Jack is a two time winner this year on tour while David got in the shootout by being the defending champion of the tour championship. The ninth hole saw both players hitting good drives. Both had good approach shots, but O'Keefe is going to wind up with his par while McCampbell barely missed his par putt and is going to get second place. 
O'Keefe collects $400 again in the Southern Energy Home Shootout. The General Electric Junior Clinic turned out to be one of the best of the year. About 60 youngsters gathered at the driving range and the Hooters Pro spent more than an hour helping the kids with their games. The players love doing the clinics and they make sure the youngsters get a chance to learn how the big guys do it on tour. Remember, these are always free to the public. The Pro-Am Pairings Party at Decatur always draws a huge gathering, and ARC of Morgan County was there to take part as a tourist charity. ARC has been the charity each year, and this year, among other projects, they raffled a color television. They also handled the parking at the tournament site. The more than $15,000 worth of Pro-Am prizes were on display, and almost 50 teams took part in the event. Flight winners were PGA, Rick Kramer was a pro, his teammates John Phillips, Gary Briscoe, Wayman Cheatham, and Dwayne Shumate. They scored 132. The U.S. Open flight, Skip Thompson, one of the amateurs, along with Ray Solly, Jeff Layton, and Earl Morris. Their pro, Will Blackman, and they scored 128. The British Open flight, the amateurs were Mike English, Steve Blake, Doug Fisher, and Mark McClendon. Their pro was Tom Kalinowski. They scored 129. And in the Masters flight, Brian Slevin was the pro and his amateur teammates, David Duke, Lef Wensler, Reggie Gilbert, and Andy Wensler. Their score, the best of all of the flights, 124. And congratulations to the winners. Again, the Pro-Am was sponsored by the Pepsi-Cola Bowling Company, and the competition was just like the weather, plenty hot. The long drive competition was the final special event prior to the Tour Championship. There were some great efforts, but the best was saved for last when David Mobley of Charlotte, North Carolina belted his first of four attempts, 314 yards to take the $250. Brian Contact was second at 305 yards. Martin's Family Clothing sponsored the long drive competition, and Brian again picked up a check for 100 bucks. There has been an Elvis sighting in Decatur, Alabama. This Elvis is Elvis Larkin. He's the head golf pro here at Point Mallard. Uh, Point Mallard is a long course that can play up to about 7,300 yards. The course is in better overall condition this year than last year when 18 under won. I think the players will enjoy the course more this year. The rough is a little longer and the green should be firmer. I think the winning score will be a little higher. We have seven par four holes that play over 440 yards and all of the par five holes are reachable for most of the players in two. I feel that the players that handle the par four holes will have the best chance to win the tournament. The Decatur Daily Tour Championship is the high spot of our season and the man behind it is tournament chairman Don Kincaid. As we get more experience and we, we have the same people doing the same things over and over, they get better at it. Doesn't get any easier. It still takes the hours, it still takes the effort, but uh, as you do it, you just get better at what you're doing. There's a couple of reasons you don't want to touch that dial right now. The action picks up. Check this. Hi, I'm Misty from the Hooters in Huntsville, Alabama. Some great shots from Thursday and Friday up next. This week on the Hooters Tour is brought to you in part by Hooters Restaurants. Delightfully tacky, yet unrefined.
Let's go out now. Early in the week, it's hot at Point Mallard, 7,100 yards of golf course, and 168 players out there to take it on. Point Mallard playing extremely long, and yes, very hot. Our first shot of the day comes in on the 375-yard par four. Ray Franz of Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, hit this approach over the trees to about six feet below the hole. This putt gives Ray a birdie three and a congrats from the gallery. Next to hole number seven, the par five. Mario Tiziani of Madison, Wisconsin. Never a doubt, great putt, a birdie four. On hole number nine, Todd Gleaton of Fayetteville, North Carolina, overshoots the green and has this chip. His efforts reward him with a par. Great save, Todd. David Dyer of Springdale, Arkansas, had this shot into the par five second hole. David will two putt for his birdie. And finally, our final shot of the day comes from Corey Bowman on hole number 15. It was right in between two iron and a three wood, and I kind of came over the top of a three wood, but uh, fortunately for me, missed it in a good spot. Uh, chipped it to about 10 to 12 feet, and uh, like most of my 10 and 12 footers today, made them. So uh, that's what made the round nice. I made a few putts finally. Yeah, the naturally fresh uh, round of the day is always a nice bonus to get, uh, whether it's on a Thursday or Sunday. And uh, Thursday, in a big tournament like this, definitely puts me in contention for, uh, for the weekend. Point Mallard, the par five's long, but reachable. While Mother Nature continued to apply plenty of heat from the moment the tournament opened, Hooters pros were trying to do likewise to the golf course. Let's check out some of the early heat. Jeff Thorson here of Jacksonville, Florida is at hole seven. His good approach is going to allow him to make his birdie four. It'll be a key hole for him to be four under par after two days of play and four under 68 for today. How about a power play from the same threesome? Same hole, number seven. First, Greg Reed of South Africa will earn a shot of the day award with his four, but again, he will not survive the cut. He gets a 74 today. Brian Cortan, the little lefty from Spearfish, South Dakota, also scores a birdie. This is gonna help him to a 69, and his three under total puts him in for the weekend. The third member of the group is Jack O'Keefe of Little Rock, Arkansas. And the leading money winner at nearly $56,000 is on a birdie bench today. His four is one of the seven that will lead to a 65 after a first round 75. And Jack is right back in the tournament. And he's going to be around to work toward the naturally fresh bonus points award that's given at the end of the year. That's $250,000 worth. Jason Shook of Orlando can claim one of the best putts of the day at hole seven. Good going, Jason but his two over par after 36 holes will not get him to the weekend. Now let's go for a nice up and down by Phil Huffhauer of Lake Charles, Louisiana. This again at hole seven. Check out Phil. He's gonna record a 69 today, but a first round five over leaves him three short of the cut. Craig Bowden out of Bedford, Indiana is gonna be six under after 36 holes, and it was shots like this in hole 12 that will keep Craig in the tournament right until the end. He's a two-time winner on the Hooters Tour. Jerry Wood is having himself a strong tournament early. In round two, he's gonna get his bird at seven, and he'll be tied for fourth heading to Saturday's third round. Today, Jerry's gonna to post a 66, and that's a fine score under some trying conditions. 73 players now are set to battle for the weekend as the cut has been set at one under par. Every week, the Hooters Pro Golf Tour is proud to work with an important charity in the community. Here in Decatur, for the third straight year, we're working with the ARC of Morgan County. Mark Griffin is the executive director. Hooters has been very important to us. They allow ARC to come to the tournament, raise the dollars that we need to keep open our family support services and our summer school for children with disabilities. Without the money raised through fundraising, we would not be able to carry on these services for our community. Hi, my name is Eric Rustan. I'm from Tucson, Arizona, and I'm a member of the 95 Hooters Jordan Tour. Hi, I'm Jack O'Keefe of Little Rock, Arkansas. I play on the 1995 Hooters Tour. My name is Ron Whitaker, and I'm from Little Rock, Arkansas, and I play the 1995 Hooters Tour. Hi, I'm Hicks Melanson from Marietta, Georgia, and I play the 1995 Hooters Tour. 
Hi, I'm Terry from the Hooters in Huntsville, Alabama. Up next, we'll crown a champion and meet the Jackaroo Player of the Week. This week on the Hooters Tour is brought to you in part by Bud Light. Won't fill you up and never let you down. And by Naturally Fresh Foods, preservative-free salad dressings, sauces, and dips. Next is Lady. Exceptional sheen. Oh, very good color. Prince. Hands. Oh, such mm. stateliness, such majesty. Larry. Larry. For the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. The best of show, more. <laughs> Why are you sitting at home watching Hooters Sports on TV? Why aren't you at Hooters? If you were at Hooters right now, you could be enjoying Hooters' nearly world-famous chicken wings. And other great stuff served up by the Hooters girls. And watching Hooters Sports at Hooters is a lot more fun than sitting there by yourself. See? Now get up off that couch and go to Hooters. Here, let me help you get started. You're not still sitting there, are you? Two down and two to go. Our leader heading into round three comes from a golfing family. His name is Bob Matisse from Jacksonville, Florida. Round three and the temperature is still near the 100 degree mark. Only six players are going to be shooting in the 60s on this day. One of those, Jerry Wood of Richmond, Virginia. Here's Wood on the par five seventh hole. This shot for Eagle will set up his birdie, which moved him to minus nine. Wood will make another birdie two holes later on hole nine. Now on to the par five 15th. How about this approach? Jerry's gonna get it to within two feet for an eagle, and that puts him one stroke out of the lead at 12 under par. Rick Kramer of Scottsdale, Arizona had a roller coaster day of sorts, a bunch of birdies, and a few bogeys leading to his one under par round of 71. Rick going to start the final round three out of third place. Bob Matisse of Jacksonville, Florida fired a 200 par 70 today. His first birdie coming on the par four first hole. He's at minus 12. Matisse is going to go back to back with this. That sets up his second birdie and now he's a leader at 13 under par. He'll bogey number three and then comes right back with his third birdie in four holes at the par four fourth hole. Matisse is in first, leading by two shots now. A couple of other names making some news on this day in the Decatur Daily Classic. Chris Stutz of Tempe, Arizona. Here's Chris now on hole number one. He's gonna make his birdie three. Stutz finished with a 70, and he's five shots out of the lead. Corey Bowman of Springfield, Missouri, who led after the first round, had several chances at birdie today, but the ball just will not fall. One of the few that did occur at the par four ninth hole for Corey is this one. This putt hits dead center. And Bowman posts a disappointing 74, and he's in a tie for fifth place. Checking the naturally fresh leaderboard, Bob Matisse is on top after three rounds of play at 13 under par. Jerry Wood is a couple of strokes back along with Rick Kramer at 10 under par. Chris Stutz is alone in fourth place while four pros are tied for fifth. They include Steve Ford, Brian Cortan, Gibby Gilbert Jr. and Corey Bowman. Steve Ford had the low round of the day with a seven under par 65. He's gonna get the $250 from Naturally Fresh Foods. First of all, we appreciate them putting up the money each day. Uh, they do it every single day of each tournament of the year, so that's kind of something else to play for as we go along each tournament. But uh, I started out pretty much in last place and, and just barely made the cut and, and uh, just had a good day. Didn't really make a lot of putts of any length, just 
eight birdies and a bogey, so kind of helped to get me a little better position for tomorrow. It's time now to get a little up close and personal. Our Jackaroo Barbecue Sauce Player of the Week. This guy has an overpass named in his honor. It's Spike McCroy. He bleeds Alabama red. In fact, his dad reflects on their most proudest moment of 27-year-old Spike McCroy. Scholarship to the University of Alabama. You know, something that I always dreamed of. And I think that was the, I think that was a great day when we went down and met Conrad Railing and realized that he wanted Spike to come to Alabama. Spike has always enjoyed the spotlight at center stage. In fact, home videos reveal that he has savored many moments on local television during those budding years. Moments playing successfully in the NCAA tournament where he made it to the final eight before falling. Yes, I think he does like to be on camera. I often say if someone would follow him around with a camera all the time in his tournaments that he would shoot lights out. But then that's the truth, he is a, he's a camera hog. Since turning professional in 1991, Spike has finished 18th on the 93 Hooters Tour money list, won the Alabama Open Championship in 1992, and of course, recently won the event in Louisville, Kentucky. But there have been times when he believed that his life was headed in other directions. <laughs> I did get a job last uh, two winters ago. Not this past one, but, but two winters ago. And, and I think that that was a, a blessing to me. I mean, it was the, the worst thing I could have done for my golf, but it just, you know, it's a learn, it, I, I learned so much from it. Well, he's back on track on track to fulfill he and his family's dream of playing on the PGA Tour. And like many of professional athletes, Spike will complement his natural abilities with superstitions that have at times been less than desirable on the golf course. I would, you'd never see me play a number three because every time I'd play it, I'd play it on Saturday because I always wanted to play two with twos on Sunday because that was my favorite number and I always played good with it. And, and saved twos for Saturday because the twos haven't been working for me, it's the threes because when I played in Louisville the last day, I played with a three and one. So, uh, so much for that superstition and, and that being my lucky number too, so. No superstitions here. His sister has a ritual of hanging banners on major highways. His family lends financial support and Spike, well, he won't be writing any songs about birdies He'd rather tip his hat to the gallery. In a 72-hole Hooters Tour championship event, everything literally and figuratively boils down to Sunday. Final round action saw Bob Matisse picking up the first birdie of the morning on the par five second hole. This Come birdie on. needed after Matisse bogeyed his starting hole. Yes. Jerry Wood of Richmond, Virginia put some pressure on early. He birdies number five, moving to within one stroke of Matisse. Wood evens the match with this birdie at the par five seventh hole. And here at the par five twelfth hole, Matisse makes birdie and he's now at 14 under par. Wood will follow with this birdie and the match is even once again. The turning point came on the par five fifteenth hole. Both players reaching this screen in two, Jerry Wood putting after Matisse had already missed his eagle. This eagle three gives him a two-stroke lead with three holes to play. Wood will pick up a three-stroke lead with this chip on the par four 17th hole, and it will go in for a birdie. I never dropped too far behind him today, and I, I felt like I did apply a lot of pressure on him, especially when I you know, I birdied five and seven, and then I made a couple really good uh, par saves on 10, and I made about an eight-footer for par on 13, when he had it probably seven feet for birdie. So he's looking basically to take a two-shot lead if I miss and he makes, and we, we stay even right there, and then he ends up bugging 14, and I end up eagling 15, and uh, that's kind of when things separate a little bit. Again, Wood captures the biggest purse of the season, $25,000 for first place. Bob Matisse was three back in second. Jack O'Keefe and Chris Stutz are both in at 277. 
Spike McCroy, Steve Ford, Rob McKelvey, Corey Bowman, and Steve Pope round out the top nine. Eight players are tied at minus six in the tenth position. A great tournament, and our champion gets $25,000 this week. Yeah, $25,000 would certainly change my bank account, and uh, my banker would be happy. Well, it's going to change the money list, I'm certain. And when we come back, we're going to take a look at the money list and the Naturally Fresh Points Championship race. My barbecue sauce has the big, bold taste that really makes barbecue taste great. Barbecue sauce. <laughs> That's not barbecue sauce. This is barbecue sauce. Jackaroo barbecue sauce. Big taste from a big place. This week on the Hooters Tour is brought to you in part by Jackaroo Barbecue Sauce, a big taste from a big place. I don't know about you, Lee, but I saw some of our players raise their game to another level this week. A lot of fun. The volunteers were exceptional. Yeah, this tournament has become a model for our entire golf tour. You know, here in Decatur, Alabama, Don Kincaid, you could go on Julian Walker, Elvis Larkin, all the names that quickly come to my mind, along with names we're talking about. Our golfers, too, a great week for them. And as we check out that Naturally Fresh Points Championship race and that big money board on the Hooters Pro Golf Tour, Kim and I want to say goodbye, and it's been a great week here in Decatur, Alabama. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Well, not exactly on this night. It was a little bit country. Give me just a word.